Today we've learned just how many 7th graders were sent home for not having their immunizations before the start of school. More than 50% of students remain at risk. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes is in our newsroom now with the total numbers. Jennifer. Well, Vicki, the numbers are still coming in. We're still waiting to hear back from a couple of middle schools and most of the charter schools. But from what we've learned so far, 826 7th graders still don't have their required immunization certificate. The number seems high, but it's actually not that bad. The same time last year, there were 24% of seventh graders still without their immunizations. And the, the school district actually gave them until Friday. That was a deadline for them to get it done. But uh, that means that those who showed up today to school would be turned away. Metro schools have to deal with this same issue year after year. But they say this time around, the numbers were higher than expected. Last week, they informed us that more than 2,700 seventh graders had yet to be immunized. The Metro Health Clinic downtown was busy all last week and again today with parents trying to get their immunization records in order. It's the document they need so that their kids can go back to school tomorrow. But for parents coming, the best thing that we would recommend for them is to bring their child's shot record. That tells our nurses very quickly what immunizations their child has and ones that they need. And so that's really an important document to bring in. Yes, and if parents don't have that, their children run the risk of having six or seven immunizations in one day. And who wants to do that? The Metro uh, Health Department will be offering these immunizations all throughout the week. They do expect for things to slow down starting on Wednesday. Reporting live in a newsroom, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD.